Tip number 49. Place crystals close to the chip to keep the tracks as short as possible. And uh, this is important one, okay? If uh, your crystal circuit fails, then your board is not going to work. And uh, on uh, some boards, on some chips, the crystal circuits are very sensitive. There is just like uh, not much between working crystal circuit and non-working crystal circuit. You need to be very careful. Many times even, uh, you know, the tracks which are used to connect the crystal between the processor or microcontroller or different chip, they have some capacitance and this capacitance can influence the crystal circuit. So always when you are uh, drawing the, when you are connecting crystals, try to place them close and try to keep the tracks as short as possible. I'm going to show you some examples. This is how we do it. So here is a crystal, here is a crystal, here is a processor, and uh, here are some components around the crystal circuit. Here you can see, yeah, this is the crystal. These are standard capacitors which you normally place there. These are some additional components, and watch, they are all here, yeah, to keep the distance between the crystal and the processor very short. If I click here, and if I measure the distance, if I measure the length of the track, it's just six millimeters. It's like, I don't know, like this maybe. Yeah, it's very short. I can give you different examples. So you can see we do it also on the other crystals, not only this one. Okay. This is different crystal. It's this one. There are two capacitors. Again, you can see very close to each other. And if I measure the distance, it's like 4.8 millimeter, yeah, even a little bit closer. It's very important. I've seen boards failing because crystals were placed too far from the microcontroller or from the processor. So don't forget, yeah, tip number 49, place crystals close to the chip to keep the tracks as short as possible. Why? Long crystal tracks may prevent the crystal from oscillating, so crystal may not work.